everyone and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be doing a weapon guide on the Maddox Assault Rifle after update 1.07 here in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So guys, I mentioned this in other videos here on my YouTube channel and that is, I have really been enjoying the Maddox Assault Rifle in Black Ops 4, especially after I got Dark Matter Camo. So what I decided to do for this video is do a best class setup for the Maddox Assault Rifle after update 1.07 in Black Ops 4. Also guys, I just want to say that I apologize that there was not a video yet yesterday. I did record a video yesterday, however, unfortunately, I did not have enough time to be able to edit the video fully, so I didn't want to rush a video out. So that's how come there wasn't a video yesterday. However, we are back today, and this time, of course, we are going to be doing a weapon guide on the Maddox Assault Rifle. Now, what I am going to be doing for this video is I am going to be doing a weapon guide for the first half of the video, then I am going to be switching over to a live commentary of me using the class in Black Ops 4. You guys really seem to enjoy that style of video, so that's how come I am going to be making another one for this video. So yeah, now that I got the intro out of the way, let's actually dive right into the weapon guide. So guys, the first thing that I am going to be talking about in this video, and that's going to be just discussing a little bit about the Maddox Assault Rifle. Now the Maddox Assault Rifle is a high damage, moderate recoil, as well as moderate fire rate assault rifle in Black Ops 4. You unlock the Maddox Assault Rifle at level 49 in Black Ops 4 multiplayer, so that means the Maddox is an assault rifle that you will be unlocking a little bit later in your prestige. The Maddox assault rifle is a really interesting assault rifle here in Black Ops 4. It's very unique and the weapon actually looks quite similar to the MTAR-X from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. However, off the top of my head, I cannot think of any other weapon in any other Call of Duty game that is very similar to the Maddox in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So yeah guys, now I'm going to be showing you what the creative class I have for this video and it's going to be on your screen right now. Alright guys, so as you can see, this this is the creative class that I have for this video, and of course we are going to be using the Maddox RFB Assault Rifle with the Dark Matter Camo, and then for my optics, I am going to be using an ELO Sight, and that's just because I do like using the ELO Sight on the Maddox Assault Rifle, and that's just because the Iron Sights can be a little bit challenging to use, so that's how come I am going to be using an ELO Sight, however, if you guys would like to use a Red Dot Sight, feel free to go ahead and do so, it really just depends on your own personal preference, however, I prefer the ELO Sight over the Red Dot Sight, so that's how come I am going to be using it for this creative class, and then for my second as well as third attachment, I am going to be using Fast Mags 1 as well as Fast Mags 2. Now, the reason why I am going to be using Fast Mags 1 as well as Fast Mags 2, and that's just because if you put on Fast Mags as well as Fast Mags 2, it makes the reload on this weapon almost instantaneous. So, I really do like that when it comes to the Maddox Assault Rifle, especially since the Maddox plays almost like an assault rifle submachine gun hybrid. So, that's how come you are going to be wanting to rush around the map when you're using the Maddox, and you want to be able to reload as quickly as you possibly can, so that's how come I am going to be using Fast Mags as well as Fast Mags 2. And then for my final attachment, I am going to be using Stock, and that is just because, as I mentioned a little bit earlier in this video, you will be running around and you will be very active if you are using the Maddox, so that's how come I am going to be using Stock for this creator class. Moving over to the gear as well as the perks, I am going to be using Stim Shot, and that's just because you want to be able to heal yourself as quickly as you possibly can. Now moving over to the perks, I have my standard perk set up for my videos and that's going to be scavenger, lightweight, as well as ghost. So yeah guys, that's the class that I have for this video. I just wanted to say that I really do enjoy using the Maddox assault rifle and that's just because it's a very versatile assault rifle in Black Ops 4. You can use it very effectively at close range and almost like a submachine gun. However, you can also use it pretty effectively at medium range. Now going to those longer ranges, you will notice that it's not the best assault rifle in the game and chances are you will be outgunned by people using other weapons such as the ICR or other more accurate weapons in the game that excel at medium to long ranges. And that's the thing guys, when Black Ops 4 originally released, I didn't really enjoy using the Max Assault Rifle that much in Black Ops 4. I thought it was a pretty good assault rifle in the game and I did use it, however it was never my favorite weapon in the game. After I got Dark Matter Camo, I could use whatever weapon I want to use, so I tried out a bunch of different weapons and I really did like the ICR as well as the Maddox, surprisingly enough, and I noticed that I did the best while using the Maddox in Black Ops 4, and that was easily one of my favorite weapons in the game. So if you guys haven't already done so, make sure you go ahead and check out the Maddox Assault Rifle in Black Ops 4, you will not be disappointed. So yeah guys, that's where I'm going to be ending off the weapon guide portion that I have for this video. I am going to be transitioning to a live commentary of me using this class in Black Ops 4, so yeah guys, enjoy the live commentary. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are going to be jumping into 
a game of Hardcore Kill Confirmed on Nuketown, and that's the thing. What I am going to be doing for this video is I am going to be playing the Hardcore Nuketown playlist here in Black Ops 4. Now, that's the thing. If you didn't already know, with the content drop this Tuesday, there's actually a 24-7 Nuketown playlist in Black Ops 4. However, the catch, and that is the playlist is a Hardcore playlist, so that means you are going to be playing Hardcore, which isn't really a problem for me. I'm a fan of Hardcore mode, especially since I played a lot of it when it was going for Dark Matter Camo. So I'm completely used to Hardcore mode. I do enjoy it. However, I know some people, they really do not enjoy Hardcore mode. And it kind of sucks because a lot of people, they like Nuketown. However, they don't want to play Hardcore. Honestly, I think it would be nice if they had a 24-7 Nuketown playlist that is Hardcore, like the one that we have right now, as well as one that is just Standard Core. And that's the thing, guys. I hope that for the next Double XP weekend that we have in Black Ops 4, I hope that there is a 24-7 Nuketown playlist. That would be really awesome. Oddly enough, the last Double XP weekend that we had, there was actually not a 24-7 Nuketown playlist, which is a little bit odd. I was expecting for there to be a 24-7 Nuketown playlist, especially, especially since Nuketown was only just added into the game at that point. But nonetheless, hopefully we do get a 24-7 Nuketown playlist the next Double XP weekend, which chances are will be happening pretty shortly. If you guys actually did not know, the current operation, Operation First Strike, will be ending in under two weeks, which is actually quite interesting. Of course, once Operation First Strike ends, there is going to be a new operation, and we're going to have to see exactly what's going to be going on with the new operation, and exactly seeing what Treyarch is going to be adding into the game, because I highly doubt that Treyarch will be adding in a new operation into Black Ops 4, and that's the only thing that they would be doing. Chances are, we're probably going to be seeing a major update, like Update 1.08 or Update 1.09. That would be really interesting. I hope they do drop that, because right now, Black Ops 4 is a little bit dry. Of course, we got the two new map variations. However, there really isn't that much going on when it comes to new content in Black Ops 4. What I'm personally hoping for, and that is with the next update or when the new operation drops in December, hopefully we will be seeing new DLC weapons into Black Ops 4. Usually, around December is when the Call of Duty developers usually add in new DLC weapons or at least the first set of DLC weapons into that particular Call of Duty game. They did this for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And there were actually three new melee weapons, being the Butterfly Knife, the Wrench, as well as the Brass Knuckles. And then with Call of Duty World War II, with the Winter Siege event, we actually got some new weapons into the game, being the Gewehr 43, the GPMG, as well as the Stensa Machine Gun. And I'm not 100% sure, however, I believe Infinite Warfare dropped their first set of DLC weapons in December as well. So chances are we probably are going to be seeing some new DLC weapons coming in December of 2018 for Black Ops 4. And that's the thing, new DLC weapons will be coming into Black Ops 4 at one point or another. New DLC weapons have been added into every single Call of Duty game going all the way back to Black Ops 2. The only question is how are these new DLC weapons going to be added into the game? What's most interesting, and that's Black Ops 4, is the first Call of Duty game since Advanced Warfare that actually does not have a supply drop system, which is actually quite interesting. And that's just because for other Call of Duty games, since they had a supply drop system, it was basically confirmed that the new DLC weapons that were going to be added into the game, we're going to be added through the supply drop system. However, since Black Ops 4 does not have a supply drop system, we're going to have to see exactly how new DLC weapons will be added into the game. Now, this is just one idea that I have, and I think it would be really awesome, and that's the new DLC weapons would be a part of the Black Ops Pass. Now, that's just because the Black Ops Pass is new to Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and that's the thing. It's supposed to be different than just the Season Pass, which is going to be giving you just the standard four map packs that will be coming out throughout the year. And that's the Thing, the Black Ops Pass is actually giving you four less maps than the Season Pass would give you. And because of that, I think that they might add some new DLC weapons into the Black Ops Pass, so that means you get a few less maps, however, you get some new DLC weapons in return. I think that would be really interesting. And yeah, guys, feel free to comment down below how do you think new DLC weapons will be added into Black Ops 4. So yeah, guys, that's where we're going to be ending off this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to drop a like on today's video as well, as make sure to subscribe with post notifications turned on so that way you will not miss new upload from me. We are on the grind to 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube so if you guys would like to subscribe that would really help me out. So yeah that's going to be it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.